This project aims to identify novel drug candidates that can boost aflocytosis to treat atherosclerosis. Previously, our lab discovered targeting the CD47 subalpha. Don't eat me cell signaling pathway can effectively increase aflocytosis against apoptotic foam cells and decrease plaque size. Therefore, we wonder if there are more targetable pathways related to aflocytosis, which can be adapted to atherosclerosis treatment. To do that, we tested an FDA-approved pharmacopoeal drug library in a high-throughput flocytometry-based phagocytosis assay. We treated macrophages with drugs and labeled them with a red cell tracker and the target cell with a green cell tracker. After being incubated for two hours, the macrophages have eaten target cells, which can be analyzed by a cytometer. Using this method, we screened 16 drugs that enhanced phagocytosis. Then we used each drug candidate to treat either macrophages or target cells to see if they can increase phagocytosis in both directions. Eight drug candidates passed this step. To validate these findings, we used another phagocytosis assay based on incucyte. In this assay, the phagocytosis activity was monitored in real time. To further prove the selected candidates have universal effects, we validate the results in multiple types of cells, including mouse macrophage cell line rho 264.7. Mouse bone marrow derived macrophages and human peripheral blood mononuclear cell derived macrophages. Next step, we want to decipher how these drugs candidates affected phagocytosis. We performed bulk RNA sequencing on macrophages being treated with the eight drug candidates. We found drug one and drug six induce significant gene expression changes in macrophages. Go pathway analysis revealed that drug 1 was associated with inflammation and immune response, and the drug 6 was linked to the cell cycle. Currently, we are determining the cellular toxicity of these drugs and planning to do in vivo experiment to see if injecting drugs 1 or 6 can attenuate atherosclerosis.